Hey, it's Rich, the Louisiana Hobby Guy. And I just realized two days ago that I did the unboxing of the Lasermatic XW and my box two hadn't arrived yet. And I was speaking to one of my friends, Bill, in Florida. And he said, I watched your uh, unboxing of the XW, but I don't know what to do uh, with box number two and it's really pretty simple and I did record the video <laughs> I just completely forgot to post it so that's what today is box number two on the Lasermatic XW uh, which is basically just install on the laser head so let's get started all right so let's jump into the actual unboxing and as you can see I've got my unboxing knife from Patrick at light source engraving I'll put a link to his channel down in the uh, description he has a great fiber laser channel that you'll enjoy if you have a fiber laser so it's well packaged there is a box within a box <laughs> and the first thing that you see when you open this up is going to be the user manual and Rolly automation probably makes the best user manual in the entire industry and you can completely set this up directly from the manual just follow step by step it's very very easy so we'll get that out of the way and we'll get into the uh, starter materials real quick and inside the box you're going to get um, some sample materials that you can practice your engraving business cards there are two stainless steel pendants. I don't know why I only have one there on the screen. I just opened it up. I think the other one was inside the packaging itself and not in the box. But uh, yeah, those are for testing purposes. So now you can see that you have your test card here. It looks like it's actually signed by Leo and one other technician. So we'll get that out of the way. There's our sample materials. One of them is plywood and the other one I think is uh, red oak. I'm not exactly sure on that. And then these are the important items here. So in here you're going to have your micro SD card. Uh, you have an extra lens right here. You've got your USB cable. You got your focusing gauge and your USB drive for the software. So everything is uh, nicely placed in the box. And then you've got the laser module. And there you can see the 1030 switch on there. This is the 30 watt. Very simple to, to install. And then over here you've got your uh, air assist and your exhaust hose. The air assist is controlled by Lightburn. And this exhaust hose, by the way, is one of the best that I've seen from a manufacturer. It's not like the tin foil. Uh, it looks like a tin foil, but it's got the rubber gaskets on both sides, which uh, seal it pretty well. And of course, you've got the air assist that is controlled in light burn. And for those people that like the little peel of, of the plastic, there you go. That is for you. So here we've got all the parts from the box. We've got the laser module the four screws down here we've got some twist ties and we have three wrenches three allen wrenches and all we're going to do is take and put the module directly onto here you'll see there's little cutouts in here where it fits perfectly we'll grab one screw and slip it right onto there and put that first screw, get that started in place. And maybe I'll put a second screw on this side over here and get this one started as well. Just a couple of turns so that the module doesn't uh, fall off if I let go. And then on the Allen wrenches, I'm gonna get the middle size Allen wrench just screw these down not all the way tight yet but just down and then we have two more on the bottom 
and this would be kind of hard to get on camera but it, you'll see a hole right here on the corner and all you do is load your your screw onto the allen wrench and just go ahead and get that started the same way all the way down to where it touches the metal and finally the fourth screw goes on the other side this is really very very easy just load it onto your allen wrench once again put it into the hole and get it started and make sure you don't cross thread this one because it does have to go in at a slight angle uh, probably the best thing to do is start it by hand so now I'm just going to tighten that one up and sometimes the Allen wrench doesn't want to come off especially on this one so you have to just wiggle it around until it comes off then we'll tighten this one up all the way and go around and just make sure that they're all tight and that's it and then I think I'll just do one more turn on this one just to make sure okay and now we've got all four of them and it's in place then you just simply plug in your power connector over here it only goes in one way and on this side take your air hose and put it through the top hole here and then the bottom now make sure that the uh, airline is not sitting up too high like that if it is turn it slightly until it comes down to about the height of the laser module and then just push it down in place like so and that's it that's all there is to uh, setting up box two on this machine now um, there are a couple of bypass switches here and this is if you want to uh, unplug the switches on the machine for the safety switches for the lid and uh, we're not going to get into that today and I am not sure what the twist ties are for <laughs> I guess I'll have to check the manual on that one but that is about it right there that whole thing is now set up and ready to use and if we hit the power switch now the fan turns on and the machine is now homing it's homing because I already have this connected to Lightburn. Okay, so now here in Lightburn, I am going to show you how to install the software, even though this already says ready up here, because I already installed the XW, but I'm gonna reinstall it now for you so you can see how this works. So on the laser tab in Lightburn, I'm gonna click on the devices button. And over here, I'm going to click import in just a second. The first thing I have to do is plug in the USB drive that came from Lightburn, which I just did. So now I'm going to click import. I'm going to come over to Rolly Setup, which is my USB drive. And over here is the device file, Rolly Lasermatic MK2. So I'm going to click open and basically that's all there is to this now if you wanted to you could come in here and change some of the names so if i double click on this and click next next you'll see that it has all this in here i'm just going to do mk i'm going to do mk2 copy 2. i'm just going to rename this to lasermatic copy 2. So this will be the same. You won't need to do any of this because everything will already be configured. And uh, I am going to tick on Auto Home on Startup like that and say Next and Finish. And the only reason why I edited this is for purposes of this video. So now when I finally say OK right here, you'll see it says Busy and I'll put up a little video. You'll see that laser homing because I have it on Lasermatic XW but if I come to the bottom to copy two it will home again and I'll show you that by moving it out of the way we'll just move it out so that you can see it home when I switch over to the new copy that I just made all right so now I'll just pull the drop down menu and come to copy two and there you can see that it is now homing and the laser is ready to use. Chances are 
in your devices you're not going to have all these devices in here uh, so the only, the only thing you'll need to do is load the file and say finish and that's it and you can check your settings up here where the uh, the wrench and screwdriver is clicking on that and that will bring up all of the settings and everything looks good in here the only thing I would change is this 2% I've changed that to one the laser on one framing uh, one is good enough so everything is already set you have all of your scanning offsets already in here uh, and that's for changing the line shift in the laser at high speeds which most companies don't provide you with so you've got all that and all you have to do is get to work now by drawing a project it's just that simple so that's about it uh, this is box B or box 2 set up and I'm gonna put some links down below in the description just click on more right below the video and there'll be some related links to this such as setting up your camera and of course the first video <laughs> uh, unboxing of the actual machine and setup of the machine itself I did use the wrong setup file in here uh, because I didn't want to come into the other office and get the one that came with the XW But both of them are going to work fine. The only thing I'm going to do is now uh, Go and reinstall the right one uh, When I get a chance and I already have it installed on there, so I don't even have to do that but that's all there is to uh, setting this up and if you need to learn more about the unboxing and the setup of the machine the link will be down below and uh, it's really very, very simple. This is the easiest machine on the market to set up, start to finish. And if you're buying the Mark II or the XW, uh, they're gonna come in two separate boxes. And I think that's for shipping because of the weight of the machine itself. But um, hopefully this video helped you by showing you how I put mine together. By watching all of these videos you should I guess you should start with the unboxing video first and then come and do the the box two and then finally the camera alignment video but anyway I hope this video uh, helped you out and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it for you and as always I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one all right come on let's go Rich the hobby guy yeah all the guys in the show Introducing the revolution Fresh on the scene The laser matic XW